Well, I reached you, Tim Moose here. Now, here's my review for another Tyler Perry film, which is A Medea Christmas. Now, this is also based on a play and all that. Um, and, and, now, most of the Medea films had been more like, uh, had more serious talent and all that. This was more like the most comedic, uh, full-on comedic Medea movie uh, she's done. Now, here you got Medea, who ends up a who is accompanied by her niece, Elaine, portrayed by uh, Anna Maria um, Horsford. She was this uh, small town of uh, Buck um, Tessa. She, she pretty much pays the surprise visit to um, Elaine's uh, daughter named Lacey, portrayed by Tika Sumner, who has like refused to uh, come home for uh, Christmas. Because the real reason um, Lacey is avoiding her judgmental mother, that is, and her mother is not really a fan of, her, uh, of Lacey's uh, boyfriend, uh, Connor, portrayed by Chad Michael Murray. He's pretty much a douchebag, you know? And, yeah, uh... Connor's not really... Yeah, Connor, I guess you say, isn't really, um... Isn't really the best, uh, more in this scenario. And so, yeah, and of course you've got, um, you know, interesting characters. Like, obviously you've got, um... You know, obviously you got uh, Tyler Perry um, in this end. He was pretty solid. You even got Larry the Cable Guy and Captain and Jimmy. Uh, Eric Gladley was in this. Now, at this point, I guess you could say it was like, um, uh, if you really want to look at it, Medea really felt like this generation's Ernest. You know how uh, Ernest had like Ernest Christmas, Ernest uh, Halloween? Medea is, felt like this generation uh, Ernest and on. Uh, And not to mention, you even had uh, Lisa uh, Wetcha, who of course is best known for portraying Blair Warner on The Facts of Life. I thought that was pretty cool to see her pop up in this. I gotta say, um, Medea Christmas did not really, obviously, it's a Medea movie, so it did not get um, a receiver or anything. It got a couple of Razzies, which I guess I can see why. But I gotta say, um, Medea Christmas is much better than... Um, Peel may actually be. Like, it did only make a 53.4 million. Did not really do as much as most Medea movies. Because that's one major reason. Because someone thought it was a good idea to release it again. It's a Hobbit movie. And, yeah, I remember when this thing got released. I saw it in theaters and, you know, it literally got released the same day as, uh, as the second Hobbit film. And that's how I thought it was pretty funny. It had some really funny lines of uh, some really funny moments. Uh... Lace, um, Tinka Summer as a character Lacey was pretty solid. Chad Michael Murray, which you don't really see a whole lot, but I thought Chad Michael Murray was pretty uh, decent in this. Obviously, uh, there is like um, Christian based stuff because, you know, Medea goes to church a lot around. I mean, it's Christmas, you should go to church on Christmas, but. Is that. Uh, I thought Anna uh, Maria Horsfield was, was pretty cool in this. It was also pretty cool to see uh, Larry the Cable Guy. I've, I've always been a Larry the Cable Guy fan, so it was pretty cool to see, uh, you know, Larry the Cable Guy pop up in this. Uh, there is also, like, uh, there are interesting plot twists throughout the whole film as well. Uh, which I'm not really going to go into much detail because I don't know how many people haven't really seen the film yet. Uh, but if you guys seen the film, you didn't guys know a couple of the plot twists that happens in this. But anyway, it's a really decent Christmas watch. I mean, it's actually, uh, it premieres on around the Christmas time all the time. It's a really funny, uh, flick, you know, worth checking out. I mean, Medea celebrating Christmas, come on, uh, surprised we haven't had a Medea Thanksgiving yet, but, you know, I guess that's not gonna happen anymore now. Anyway, uh, let me leave with you guys. Uh, have you ever seen a Medea Christmas? If so, what you thought of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, what are some of your favorite parts, some of your favorite moments? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This here is Simu Zion.